Fawcett Middle School New Greenhouse Learning Laboratory, and we're going to be interviewing a teacher and some students about the greenhouse. And um, so I'm here with Miss Bertrand. And so, Miss Bertrand, um, how big is this greenhouse? This is a 30 by 50 foot greenhouse. All right. And um, can you tell us what the people, what people and organizations helped you raise donations for this? So there was a board of directors that was involved in the fundraising. I know they had a couple of big events. There are a lot of in-kind donations from local businesses. I do believe that the United States Department of Agriculture, Cape Cod 5, the Jenison Foundation were some of the larger contributors, but there were uh, many, many more. All right, and how much did it cost? Like, how much did you guys raise to be able to put this uh, greenhouse together? I believe it was just under two hundred thousand dollars that they were able to raise. All right, that's uh, it's. Do you guys think you'll be able to make that money back from what you do here? Like, we do teach our students about sustainability and. Ideally, in a commercial greenhouse, sustainability as part of your business would be required. As you know, we're first and foremost a learning laboratory, so some of our space is dedicated to larger classes, lab activities, therefore we, it probably would not be completely sustainable, but we do teach children about that because we can't continue to rely on donations and grants to keep us running. All right, and do you sell some of these plants that you make and or grow? And I heard that you guys do, and if you guys do, where do you sell them? So our pea shoots have been quite a popular um, item. We have a farmer's market in the winter every other Saturday, so we have sold pea shoots during that, upwards of 10 pounds a week are uh, sold out, typically. We sell to our cafeteria, who includes the pea shoots in their Caesar salads. We have a few restaurant accounts, um, the Brewster Fish House. We travel to once a week in the school van with the eighth graders. We go in through the kitchen and deliver the pea shoots to the chef. Right. collect the money and then come back to school and uh, deposit it into our account. We also supply Blackfish in Truro and the corner store in Orleans thus far. Alright, that sounds nice. Um, do all grades get to come in here so 6, 7, 8 or is it just a certain grade? No, we encourage all grades and all disciplines to come into the greenhouse. My role as coordinator is a liaison between the teachers and the greenhouse. So I look for areas in the curriculum that would be suited for greenhouse work. We've had art classes and Spanish classes, math classes, and science classes through the greenhouse this year. All right, and um, how, can you explain the hydroponic system, like how you guys water all of these plants? Well, we have two hydroponic systems. The one behind us here is a vertical hydroponic system. Um, there's a vessel of water at the base with a pump in it. The pump brings the water up to the top of the unit, and then when it hits the, the lid, it trickles down, hitting every plant on its way down. So that's one method of growing without using soil. Right. Um, this is a cherry tomato tree at this point. Over here we have a what we call a gutter system hydroponics unit. And this works in a similar fashion where the water is held in this container, it's pumped through, and then the water travels down these gutters on a, on a slope, and therefore hitting each of the roots of the plants on its way down. So they're closed systems where the water recycles itself over and over. All right, and how long do you guys plan on keeping the greenhouse? Do you plan on keeping it for a certain time period, or do you guys plan on keeping it as long as the obstacle as it goes on for us? Uh, I imagine this will be ongoing. It's been quite successful. The students are involved, and the community 
and it's been just a wonderful adventure for us in all facets. All right, and one last question. Do you guys plan on expanding the greenhouse and maybe doing some more with plant growth and outdoor education like this, or do you guys plan on keeping this one greenhouse? We have expanded into Bowl and Pond. AmeriCorps came and they cut a path around the pond, which is located on the school property. Um, Orleans Improvement Agency has given us a nice grant and we've irrigated the landscape around the greenhouse. And kids are researching pollinators. Um, we're going to go and purchase some native pollinators for outdoors. Uh, Mr. Sims' class of outdoor education will be involved in that as well as they study the pollination. I'm here with some Nauset Middle School students and um, can you guys introduce yourself? I'm Olivia. I'm in 8th grade. I'm Ayana. I'm in 8th grade. I'm Jonathan. I'm in 8th grade. So what are your roles here at the greenhouse? Um, we do a lot of things here. We water the plants. We help plant them, harvest them, bag them. We're just, we pretty much do a lot of things here and it expands a lot of our knowledge. Alright, and if you two, uh, if you guys want to just say, what is your favorite thing to do? My favorite thing to do would probably be harvesting the pea shoots because it's the thing that we all pretty much know the best how to do. That's awesome. Um, I say um, seeing everything just grow and watching the whole process is really interesting. All right, and what class do you guys come down during? Because Ms. Bertrand was saying that on Spanish class, science classes, and math classes, they come down here. So what class do you guys come down here during? Um, we have a greenhouse independent study exploratory that we take during this period every single day. And we see a lot of classes come down here from Spanish to English to math to science. It's just, it's interesting to see how the greenhouse can wrap around all different kinds of education. All right, and would you recommend this to any other incoming students and students that are already here that haven't been part of the game? So. Yes, because this it really expands your knowledge of how to plant plants and harvest and bag and keep them fresh, which you usually wouldn't know in your everyday life. So I'm going to show you where we harvest the pea shoots and where we have them grow every day. So right down here, you can see that this is where we grow our pea shoots in large bunches. So here's how we harvest them. So when one totally is grown, about an inch or so above the soil, we check them and then make sure they're ready to be harvested, and then we cut them. And when you're cutting them, you have to make sure that you cut them low down to the dirt, and then after you cut them, you have to make sure that you haven't left, any, that you've left the seeds down, and that you get a nice clean cut. So the next step of pea shoots is you would get a red bucket with water and you would take all your pea shoots that you've harvested and you'd soak them in the red bucket. And then after you've soaked them, you get our orange bucket that has that drains all the water out of the bucket and we put them in our spinner and we spin it to get all the water off so they won't um, so they won't go bad easier and we, then we put them in the fridge and we're ready to sell. Done soaking the pea shoots, you have to put them in the drainer, and the water is going to drain out. And this is our drainer, and it spins like that when you're obviously spinning it. And you put the top on, and you take the nozzle like so, and you try to get all the water you can off them so they don't go bad. And then your pea shoots are nice and dry, and they're ready to be bagged. So, thank you, Miss Birch. And I've heard that you guys are going to have a plant sale. Could you tell us about that? Yes. Memorial Day weekend, Saturday and Sunday, from 8 to noon, we are going to be offering our beautiful hanging baskets, as well as the geraniums you see behind me, um, some tomato starts, and we look forward to seeing you then. And where is it, though? It will be right here in the greenhouse. All right. Thank you. Rain or shine.